Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding definite integrals that are a little more challenging from graphs. Um, so this is part two of a sort of video series, I guess you might say. So let's uh, jump right into it. So we want to find uh, the integral from negative 6 to negative 3 of 2 times f of x dx. So there's a property of definite integrals that you can actually factor out a constant multiple. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to rewrite this as just 2 times the integral from negative 6 to negative 3 of f of x dx. Um, and now it's just going to be 2 times whatever number the integral from negative 6 to negative 3 of f of x dx represents. So I have to calculate that number. So if you look at the graph, so we're going from here to here, um, and then this turns out to be a bad example to start with probably because that region that I just shaded and this region that I'm shading um, have exactly the same area but opposite signs. So uh, when you add them together, you get 0. So this is actually just going to be 2 times 0, which is 0. So let's do another example to, to kind of highlight this a little more clearly. So we'll do the integral from negative 3 to negative 1 of 3 times f of x dx. And so this, again, I'm immediately going to factor out the constant multiple. So 3 times the integral from negative 3 to negative 1 of f of x dx. And now I have to calculate the integral from negative 3 to negative 1. Um, so it's going to be 3 times. Uh, so my region is uh, here. It's a trapezoid. Um, but it's easier to look at it as a square and a triangle. So the square has an area of 4. The triangle has an area of 2. So overall, this region is just 6 units. And so I'm really just doing 3 times 6, which gives me 18. Okay, so that's the value. Uh, let's do another example. So we're going to go from negative 2 to 2 of f of 2x dx. So this is a very different type of problem. And what we want to do is we want to kind of transform this. We're going to do something called u substitution to make it into an easier problem to do. So what we do is, uh, typically you look at its f of something, we're going to let that thing be u. So I'm going to say u is equal to 2x. And now I have to substitute for everything in the original integral. So negative 2 and 2, the boundaries, are actually x values. And then dx um, is also related to x. So I have to do something and get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate what's called a differential. So instead of writing du dx is equal to 2, I'm going to write du is equal to 2dx. So in some ways it's like I multiplied across that dx, which is a fine way to think about it for now. Um, but I want to substitute for dx, not for 2dx. So what I'm going to do is say that um, dx by itself is 1 half of du. Now I need to change the x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. So if x is equal to negative 2, I know that u is going to be equal to 2 times that. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. If x is equal to positive 2, I know that u is going to be 2 times that, so it's going to be positive 4. Um, so now what I want to do is use all of this stuff to completely rewrite the integral. So it's going to be the integral from the bottom negative 2 changed into a u. So that's an x value, that x equals negative 2. That changed into u equals negative 4. The x equals 2 at the top boundary turned into u equals positive 4. Became f of, we changed 2x into u. We actually chose that. And then dx is 1 half du. So this, uh, now I have a constant multiple I can take out, so it's 1 half. The integral from negative 4 to 4 of f of u du. And now you have to think about it. The graph that I was given is f of x, but I could change that and make it f of t, f of q. In particular, I can make it f of u, so I'm actually just going to use this graph I was given to calculate everything. So the region goes from negative 4 to 4. Uh, why am I going negative 4 to 3? Oh, I'm not going from negative 4 to 3. Uh, I'm going negative 4 to 4, I just cut it into convenient intervals. Confuse myself there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rectangle, a giant triangle, and that little triangle. So here's my rectangle. Uh, that has a base of 7 and a height of 1, so that's 7 right there for this whole rectangle. Um, this triangle on the top has a base of 7, a height of 3, and uh, so it's 1 half 7 times 3, so it's going to be 21 over 2 for this giant triangle. And then this little tiny triangle here is half of a unit square, so that's going to be 1 half. And so overall, if I add that up, I get 7 plus uh, 22 over 2 is 11. 7 plus 11, so it's going to be, um, I don't even know what I said, but se oh, 7 plus 11 is 18. So 1 half of 18, uh, which is 9. Okay, um, so that's an example. That's a weird thing to do, so we're going to do another one that's like it. Um, so here we go. 
So we're going to go negative 6 to 21 of 4 times f of x over 3 and then dx. So really similar process. I'm going to choose a u. There's a constant multiple here, but those we've seen are really not an issue. So I'm going to choose a u. I'm going to let u be x over 3. So u is x over 3. Now I need to make all my substitutions. So instead of du dx equals 1 third, I'm going to say du is 1 third of dx. And I really want 3 du is equal to dx, so I can do a direct substitution there for dx. I need to change x equals negative 6 into a u value. So if x is negative 6, that means that u is going to be negative 2 because it's negative 6 over 3. And if x is equal to 21, u is going to be 21 over 3, which is 7. And so all of this will let me completely change my integral. So the constant multiple is going to come out. Integral, we're going to change the bounds. The negative 6 becomes negative 2. The 21 becomes 7. So we got that. Um, we took out the 4. It's going to be f of u. right? That's the whole idea. And then dx is being replaced by 3 du. So I have another constant multiple that I can factor out. So I'm going to do that. That gives me 12 times the integral from negative 2 to 7 of f of u du. And at this point, we go to the graph and we try to figure this out. So we're going from negative 2 to um, positive 7. So I divided it up into what I think are kind of convenient regions. So the first one is a trapezoid. The second one's a trapezoid. We got two triangles that are nicely going to cancel out and then another trapezoid. So a lot of trapezoids. Um, but you've seen, hopefully, that the easiest way to find the area of a trapezoid on these problems is really to just look at a rectangle and a triangle. So here we have 3 plus 1 half, so that's going to be 3.5. Um, here we have a 4 and the, a four for the rectangle, and then a 4 by 3 triangle, kind of. So that's 4 and 6, so that's going to be 10 for this region. And then these two regions... Um, are actually just going to cancel each other out. So we don't really need to worry about those. Right? It's positive one half, negative one half. But it doesn't matter because by symmetry they just cancel. And then this is going to be a 2 and a 1, so negative 3 overall. So to evaluate the integral, I have to add up all these signed areas. And so I'm going to get 12 times. So it's going to be 13.5 from the positives and then negative 3 from the negatives. And so that's 10.5, so that's 120 plus 6, so overall I get 126. All right, um, so that's a couple of trickier things you can do. In particular, the U substitution examples that we did, I think, are um, maybe the hardest thing you've seen so far. Once you get the hang of it, though, it's not really so bad. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.